In this nitty gritty prime time Let's Play live stream, we're going to be playing American Mahjong at Mahjong time. If you're new to playing at Mahjong time, look for my email in the video description below. I can send you information on their 30 day VIP trial. They have a wonderful community and there are six ways, well, nearly six. There's a new version coming out soon. Right now there are five ways to play, but very soon there'll be six ways to play with your account at Mahjong Time. Details coming soon. I want to give a quick shout out to moderators. Thank you so much for helping monitor chat. This is a nitty gritty format, so we're going to try to keep the socialization to a bare minimum. That way we can dig into nitty gritty. Today's topic is on planning discards, how to expedite and also sabotage. So let me see if I got that right, because this is a new presentation. Let me just get it open here. Hold on one second. I also want to make sure that you can hear me. Can you hear me? Uh, let's see. Hold on. I lost my presentation. Bear with me. Okay, you can hear me. Thank goodness. This morning, I, I wasn't able to come through with my sound. So I'm very thankful that the sound is working. Okay, let's see. Optimize and sabotage. There we go. Okay, optimize and sabotage. Let me get it set up and we'll get started. I want to, before we do that, I just want to say thank you for watching my videos. Thank you for subscribing. And for those of you who have joined as channel members, thank you so much for supporting Mosh Life. Let me share my screen as soon as I get the presentation set up. Because we do have a presentation of uh, some new, a new approach, I guess. Not approach, but a new viewpoint, I guess you could say. Okay, let me share my screen now. Here we go. All right, American Mahjong, planning discards. This is, this can get a bit complex. There are some simple ways that you can plan your discards. Basically, you identify the strength of your hand, and then you set aside the chaff, and then you prioritize. That would be high level, very simple discarding. But there are some complexities that can take your game to the next level if you're ready for it. And that's where we're going to go today. Okay. Let's see here. Let me catch up on my iPad real quick. Here we go. Up on. Whoops. Sound off. Okay. There we go. I'm caught up now. All right. So how to optimize and sabotage. This is advanced. So if you're a beginner, buckle up. You're welcome to stay and watch, but it, it is going to be a more advanced viewpoint at planning discards. I did another session earlier today on simplifying decision making using similar concept, but we're going to take it further in this session. The first thing that I just want to share is that this is going to be based on strategy by wall. It depends on where you are in the game as far as how to prioritize your discard plan. And this concept of strategy by wall was created by Tom Sloper of Sloperama. And I have used that as the foundation and a lot of strategies that I personally teach. I think it's a fantastic way to look at the game. You kind of look at it in stages. The first stage is the begin game. This is when you deal the tiles. So the first wall, whether you break the wall or not, that is going to go away when you deal the tiles. The second wall is going to be a short wall, and that is when you're going to be 
looking at your tiles, targeting the strength of the hand, and then gathering tiles through the Charleston. That's the second wall. The third wall is typically when you're continuing to gather, but also building your hand. You're building the multiples up because American Mahjong is a game of multiples. And then the fourth wall is the end game. That is the fourth wall. And that is where you're continuing to build and hopefully winning as you're defending as well. So we have the begin game being the first and second wall, the middle game being the third wall, and the end game being the fourth wall. So we're going to talk about discard a discard strategy that coincides with strategy by wall. So in the begin game, you're, as I mentioned, just to summarize, you're going to be targeting the strength of the hand and gathering tiles that support the strength of the hand. Just pass as defensively as you can with whatever is remaining. And those tiles that you're passing, technically those are discards. So that does come into your planning. When you're looking at the, the chaff, the tiles that you're not going to be using, unwanted tiles, there are some ways that you can simplify the decision making once you've identified the strength of your hand. So let's see, dur during the middle game, that would be the third wall. This is when you're gathering and building, just to summarize. And then the end game is where you're going to be defending. This middle game time frame, the middle game, this is when this theory of outside in comes into play. And this is where you optimize not only your hand development, but you can also plan discards to optimize your potential to get a joker. That's part of outside in. And we're going to talk about it now. So the idea here is, first of all, if you're not playing wins, those are going to be discards right away. And also consider that wins are not going to be in as many hand, uh, exposures with jokers than number tiles because there's only one wind and dragon category. All the other categories use number tiles and dragons and, of course, flowers. There's one hand out or two. There are two hands outside of the wind and dragon category that use wins, and that would be the year number four and quince number one. Otherwise, all the other hands are in the Wind and Dragon category. So when you're thinking about your discard planning, consider that if you're not playing wins, these should go first as far as discards. Just discard them. Hold number tiles because those are going to be more likely used in exposures with jokers. Also, year tiles, which are primarily going to be twos, but also threes, uh, so consider year tiles uh, and twos are going to be the most prevalent because of the number of hands with years, year tiles and also evens. So twos are going to be good to discard first after wins, year tiles, twos and threes. All right, then the next thing that you want to think about is to be monitoring, this would be in the in the uh, pick and discard phase of the game, as tiles are being discarded and exposed, you, you can adjust your plan based on those tiles. Because if you're holding, for example, some middle tiles that we're going to talk about in a minute, but if someone discards them, then you know that they're, they're not going to be wanted if nobody acts on them. So, for example, in the begin game, I have an example here. In the begin and middle game, if a player claims a five dot and exposes a pure pung, and you happen to have a five dot on your next discard, you can, of course, let it go. Because it, the likelihood of someone else winning a five dot, it's going to be pretty slim. Okay, so we're going to move on to the next one. Outside in, when you think about what we shared first, year tiles, wins, and then what is being discarded. You got to think about those things. But outside in optimizes the potential for joker exchanges 
by expo in exposures by holding efficient tiles. The efficient tiles, oh shoot. Uh, okay, this strategy requires keen awareness and agile thinking to apply the strategy correctly. So there are a lot of spinning plates that are going on. You've got to think about the standard where if you're not playing wins, let those go. If you're not playing year tiles, let those go. Same with dragons. If you're not playing dragons, let those go. That is true always. But then you also want to watch the discards and exposures because if tiles that you're holding hoping to see an exposure with jokers go down in discards or exposures you're going to have to modify your plan so you've got to be able to flex you've got to be flexible that's where agility agile thinking comes in uh let's see so the focal point for outside in this theory it's based on the consecutive run category. This category is the most flexible category on the card because there are three suits numbered one through nine, dots, bams, and cracks. One, two, three, and seven, eight, nine are on the edge of that nine number range. Four, five, sorry, four, five, and six are in the middle of the range. So you can go up or down the range depending on how the tiles come in as you're picking and discarding. And then also as tiles are being discarded and exposed by your opponent. But these tiles, because they're in the middle of that nine tile range, are going to be most likely used in exposures with jokers. So if you discard first from the outside in, starting with not ones and nines, and then twos, which will go away first because those are year tiles. So then eights, and then three seven. So these are gonna go first as far as your discard uh, tactic, I guess you could say, and you're holding four, five, and six, hoping to get the opportunity to do joker exchanges even with a single tile. Discarding outside in can optimize that potential. The four, five, six tiles are the most efficient, and that's the way this theory works. And it is hit or miss. It doesn't always work. It's hit or miss just like Joker bait or really any other strategy. It just it, American Mahjong or and Mahjong in any version, it's very situational. So you have to be able to watch what is happening at the table. You got to read the room, read your opponents, read their hands, observe discards and let all those variables help you make decisions. And that is required if you're going to make this strategy work for you. One of the kickers for this strategy is that towards the end of the middle game, which is the end of the third wall, you have to switch it to inside out if you're playing to win. So the idea is that those middle tiles, if they haven't been discarded or exposed, are going to become more and more risky as the game progresses. So you have to switch it to inside out and start discarding those risky tiles and holding one, two, three, or not the two so much, because hopefully those will have gone out already, but the edge tiles, which would be one, two, three, and seven, eight, nine. So those then would be better to hold, except for the year tiles. Year tiles are very risky to hold on to in the end game. Uh, and that primarily is because of the year category. The whole left side of the card is based on twos, evens. And then also threes, twos, threes, because you have the year, two, four, six, eight, and addition hands, which have twos and threes. And then, of course, you have the biggest hand on the card, which is the big year hand. So that's why twos typically you want to have out first, especially if you're playing to win. So to prepare, start making that switch to inside out, discarding those four, five, six tiles, 
before the end of the end game so that you have safe tiles in the fourth wall. It's going to be risky to discard dragons, flowers, twos, threes for the reasons shared earlier. So with Inside Out, if you're playing a pair hand or you're attempting a jokerless hand, discard Inside Out first if you're not using these tiles. Because the whole idea of outside in is to optimize the potential for jokers, obtaining jokers. If you don't need jokers, discard these tiles. And this is where sabotage comes in because four, five, and six are more likely going to be used because you can go up or down this range. So if you're discarding them, you're going to sabotage your opponent's ability to develop their hand. Four, five, six are the middle numbers. You can go up or down. They're going to be most likely used in exposures. And if you're playing this pair hand or jokerless hand, you don't need those jokers. Tiles one, two, three, seven, eight, nine, they're limited because they're on the edge. Keep these tiles for end game discards. These are better tiles for end game discards. Now, the twos primarily and some threes, those hopefully will go out in the early or middle game if you're not keeping those tiles because those are year tiles. So just consider that and be watching the table to help you decide when the twos and threes need to go out. If you think someone is playing a year hand, you might want to sabotage early and get those tiles out. One indicator that someone is playing a year hand is the absence of white dragons at the table for this decade. So keep that in mind. Discard inside out during the middle game to sabotage hands using these tiles. That's the idea for inside out if you're playing a pair hand or you're attempting a jokerless hand. And I'm hoping that we'll be able to play some games and demonstrate all of this. So in the end game, this is when you're in the fourth wall. If you are playing to win, discard the riskiest tiles first. That is going to be the fresh tiles, meaning they haven't gone out yet in a discard or exposures. That's going to be the riskiest tile. So you want to discard those first. Then you're going to discard inside out because they're going to be risky. The four, five, six are going to be risky. Dragons and flowers. Those are all going to be risky tiles in the end game. So if you are playing to win, discard those first. If you decide to fold, break up your hand and discard as safely as possible based on what is out. Let's play Mahjong and demonstrate inside out, outside in, sabotage, and optimize. That's what we're going to work on today. I'm going to share my screen and we'll get to the tables. Looks like we have an open seat. Let's see here. We'll decline that. Go here. Let me switch my layout. And here we go. First game. So we're focused on discard planning, optimize, and sabotage. So during the Charleston, we're not going to worry so much about sabotage. That comes in the pick and discard phase of the game. We're focused on optimization, really our hand first. That's the first priority. You want to focus on the strength of your hand, gathering tiles that uses most of your tiles, or playing a category that uses most of your tiles so that you can optimize your own hand development. So we're not so much focused on discards as much as 
building around strength in our own hand. So we have two, three, here's a three crack pair. I would hold these dragons. We might be able to use them if we get more threes. We may be able to play a year hand with dragons. Let's throw the West. We do have some two, three, four in here. Oops. We can't keep it all. We're going to throw the eight and the nine. Let's try that and see how this goes. So we did have some two, four, six, eight in here, but no sixes. That's a gap. I think two, three, four, or maybe a year hand is going to be ideal. So in this case, if we're doing a two, three, four, or a year hand, two, three, then we're going to keep year tiles. So that's one of those examples of that agile thinking you have to go with the tiles that are coming and going in your hand okay so here's a one two we're going to let the eight go because our predominant pattern is two three four we have two three four in cracks four bam we can't keep it all two three we don't have a five so really this four is not helpful i'm thinking a year hand is where we're headed at the moment so we're going to let that one go. So we're looking at probably a year hand. We have no flowers, so that's going to be a challenge for us because the year hand with dragons specifically requires four flowers, and we have none. But we could maybe play the first year hand. We have no gaps for that. We have options, two different twos, two dot two bam. We may end up letting the dragons go. Okay, so we're waiting for a pass. Okay, here we go. Let's see what we get. We got the four back. We keep getting that eight. But our multiples are with two, three. A two crack with an eight dot, we'd have to throw away the three crack. Either way, we have a pair we don't need. But I think we have a pretty strong potential for a year hand. So we're going to keep going. Let's break up the eight. We might see some different tiles here. Sometimes if you see the same tiles in that last pass, people might change their game. We got the five crack. That's a new tile. So now we have two, three, four, five dragons. I think what I would do here is probably let one of these dragons go, the green dragon. Because if we get flowers, we could maybe play the concealed consecutive hand. It seems that nobody wants the eight dot. We have two, three, four, five dragon. No flowers. That's a gap. So we need to think about that. But we do have a hand with no gaps. The first year hand. And here we have like numbers. I don't, I'm, I don't like passing like numbers, so we're not going to do it. We're going to pass blind. And I want to keep all my options open. So we're going to do, we're going to pass blind. Nobody wants the eight dot apparently. So that's going to get paid forward. No keepers. So let's see how many our opponent wants. I'm thinking seven crack five, eight in dots. They want two. So we can do two. Nobody wanted that eight. So let's pass five, eight. I think a seven, eight would, would have maybe have been a little too efficient for passing. That five, at least there's two numbers in between. And according to statistics, we should get 1.6 flowers out of the wall. Here we have a pair we don't need. I'm going to put it to the left of my tiles. That's joker bait. 
we might be able to get a joker out of those. So wins go first. We're not playing wins. So that simplifies our process. Just let them go. Win. This eight crack is chaff. We clearly don't need that. I'm thinking unless we get a flower, the four, five, and cracks will go next. Eight dots. And this red dragon. I think our our highest west wind. our greatest potential is year number one. Whoa, we just got a one. Now we have one, two, three, four. Eight one, characters. two, three, four. With the red dragon, if we get flowers. Eight characters. But I still think the greatest potential is year number Eight one. Eight characters. South wind. We got a flower. Okay, so that changes everything because we could do the concealed hand. We could still maybe do the year hand. I would let the joker bait go. Actually, we have enough choices. Let's let the year hand go and hold Two the dots. joker bait. Let's see if we can hold on to that a little longer because we five could also days. play one through five, the first hand. We could even do two, three dragon. So we still have lots seven of options characters. by giving up on the year hand. There's the seven crack. Now this is where we can find out if that's going to be good joker bait. Nobody wanted it. So we're going to let it go. There Please was, die. I think we were the only one hesitating on that. Pong. Okay. We got skipped. One character. Three dots. So for now, it's going to be, let's see, let's let the two bam go. Two bamboos. Nobody wanted the seven crack, it seemed. Seven characters. There's the second one. Okay, so these will be the next discards. We'll just escalate them. Five and they incidentally dots. are edge tiles. The two BM, no, that was yeah. a year tile, two dot year tile. We got a keeper. Let's let the seven go. So we seven have two, characters. three, four consecutive pungs or pairs, sorry, consecutive pairs in there. Two, three, four. Maybe we two could dots. play that concealed hand, but we need to pair up North the wind. flower or the red dragon before long because those are weaknesses. One dot. Probably this is an edge tile here. The white dragon is a year tile. We should let that go now. White if you're dragon. not playing wins or dragons, let them go. Nine characters. They're very risky to hold on to, especially the dragons, because there's only three of them. Three characters. Okay, now here we have to make a choice. Do we want to play the concealed hand? Or do we want to maybe do a Pung Kong hand? Either way, we're not ready to Kong. I think we should let it go. I wouldn't Pung because that would lock us into a hand one where that character. is a Pung. And the only one that would work for would be the uh, second hand down. Let's see. Let's let the seven or one Bam go. One Bamboo. Let's see. Two seven cracks. Or three seven cracks are out. This six crack is not going to be helpful. We have two, three, four, five. If we play the concealed hand, we need a four One number, bamboo. four number range. So that six crack, not helpful. That is a middle tile, though. We might get a joker One out of it, again. but we don't want to hold on to it too long. This is where you need Sounds to keep weird. an eye on the that middle game. So right around where this one crack is, that's when we want to discard that six crack. So let's discard the seven. Seven characters. So here we have a, a two crack pung now. So I'm thinking two, one three, bamboo. four, five dragon. And that one crack can go because the two crack is a pung. We need pung, pair, pair, one pung. Dragon. So the five crack needs to be a pung for that concealed one hand. Character. We still need a flower. Nine crack is on the edge. So we're going to let that go. Nine that characters. would be outside in. Looks like someone might want nines. I don't see any Two other nines bamboos. out. So nines might might get a potential 
Joker exchange opportunity. One bamboo. If there was that, did you see that big hesitation on that nine? All right. So the one dot, let's discard that first. One dot. There are three one cracks out, and we're heading into the end game. Three dots. In one, two, three discards. So we want to think, start thinking about safe discards. Two characters. Because in one, two, three discards, we're going to be in the end game. We're going to we're going to pass because we're probably playing the concealed hand. We still need a flower or a five crack. Uh, let's see, a red dragon. Okay, now seven bam. That's on the edge. The three seven bam is bam on the bam. edge. Let's see. One, two, three, seven, eight, nine. Those would be outside in. The one nine crack is a safe bam. discard for later. Okay, it looks like somebody's playing nines. Maybe a three, six, nine hand. Five characters. That's our tile, but we're concealed. We can use jokers Two there, dots. though. The dragon. Okay, we don't want dragons. That goes first. Green dragon. Flower and red dragon. We have two weaknesses, so we need to be mindful of discards right now. We're not seeing too many dragons out. Let's see, there's a red dragon, two white dragons, and one green dragon out. Somebody okay. could be playing maybe like Six numbers characters. with dragons. You need one of each. I suppose there's a three, six, nine dragon hand too. Four bamboos. Okay, we need a keeper. Eight is an edge tile. Eight bamboos. Two more picks and we'll be in the end game. Eight dots. There are two six cracks out, no three bams. So, this is our riskiest discard. If we're playing to win, we need to discard this three bam. This is going to be our riskiest discard. Six dots. Ah, they got a joker. And incidentally, that's a green, that's dragon. a middle tile. And it had a joker. That's part of that outside in theory. Okay, this is a middle tile. So I think it's out though. One, let's let the three BM go first. Three bamboos. Pung. Nine characters. There's a joker for the three BAM. So they're playing Flower. a three, six, nine hand. We got our five BAM, our five crack. Four bamboos. All right, we still need the red dragon and a flower. flower. So we have a weakness. Nobody wanted the flower. Two are Four out dots. now. Hopefully we'll get one more out of the wall. We're we're going into the end game after this Four pick. Bamboos. Okay, so south, three are out. Let's let the six crack go. Six characters. And this south is probably going to be safe. Eight dots. It seems nobody wants the one crack. Seven dots. We need a flower and a red dragon. We do have potential one for the dragon. second hand down in one suit, Pong Kong. Hand release resistance. We can use jokers if we are not able to get a flower or a, a red dragon. Okay, now here we have a risky tile, Six, a nine dot. Let's hope this is for a Kong and not Mahjong. Nine dots. We're two away from ready. So I would play to win. There's a big hesitation on the nine Kong. dot. Okay, so Kong. Now Three it's going to be very risky to discard a six BM. I was hoping they weren't ready Seven to Mahjong. Dots. Okay, we got our flower. One character. And let's see here. We need nine a what we need a red dragon or a five crack, and we're one away from a pure hand. Nine characters. We need that five crack or a red dragon to get ready. Nine bamboo. And we have a safe discard now. Because we switched from outside in to inside out, and we kept that the wind, which North nobody wind. wants. Okay, three bam. That's that makes us ready, three but this bamboo. is gonna be risky because now they may have a pure hand. Sound are there win. any six bams out? We're ready to win though now. And we are fully concealed. So nobody knows what we're playing. A red dragon was discarded. 
So hopefully people will think, oh, maybe, maybe nobody wants the red dragon. Boom. So let's see, we have a turn coming Boom, up. Bamboos. Uh, three dot, three dot, three are out. Three dots. We're looking for a red dragon to win. White dragon. There goes a white dragon. Nobody wants it. Four dots. Four dots. Okay, we want a red dragon. Three bamboos. Green dragon. Dragon's going down. Four characters. Oh, yeah, that's pass. Oh, <laughs> shoot. Somebody kept the red dragon. We got ready, though, so I'm happy about that. All right, so six bam was being held here, five through nine. They had some nice jokers in there. And over here, this player's ready to win on a six bam. This player over here was holding our red dragon. It looks like they were trying for news with flowers. So I was, I'm wondering why they kept the red dragon. Maybe they were thinking, oh, someone's playing something with a red dragon. And we were. Okay, let's play again. We got ready. So I'm really happy with that journey. Let's jump over here. Oh, let's see. Here we go. We got in. All right, next game. I'm going to open this up here. We don't need that there. Okay. All right, target multiples. We have two multiples, and they don't go together, four, five, six, unless we get a six dot. We have four, five, six, seven, but no six dot. Seven, otherwise, probably, we have all the fours. We do have all the fours, but we also have some big odd potential in here. Let's start process of elimination. We'll discard east, eight, and two. So we're set up to use either or both. If we get a six dot, we could play four, five, six, seven. Okay, now we have a new multiple, a seven. So we have one, three, five, seven, nine in here. One, three, five, seven, nine, five, seven, seven, nine. I would not pass all fours. I wouldn't do that. So I think I would go with the most of my multiples, which is the sevens. So I would probably pass one of the fours, the one, and the nine bam. We could still maybe play five, uh, four, five, six, seven if we get a six dot. Okay, so now we have three dot one nine, not helpful. The four crack probably can go, and then the one and the nine. Let's see here, three, four, five sevens okay let's see what happens here five six in cracks if we can get let's see here's a five crack five crack seven seven let's see here one three three dot one crack this is a tough one five seven seven nine no gaps I'm thinking the second hand down on the right, five, seven, nine, still no six. And we have, I think what I would do here is probably, it almost seems like, oh shoot, we have a robot at the table. Darn it. Okay, five crack will go. One, five, three. Shoot, what happened? All right, whatever. <sighs> They kind of muck up the game. All right, no no keepers here. I would not throw the white dragon. I would probably keep it just because they are risky. Somebody left the table and a robot took over. Darn it. 
Okay, still no keepers. Let's pass, let's see. Let's do one, four, nine. That three dot is not useful at all to us. Okay, now we have another seven and a six. So there's some consecutive in here. Here's four, five in bands with a six, seven in cracks. They want two tiles. We could do two. We could pass a one, two. So we're in between four, five, six, seven, and big odds, five, seven, nine. We got the five crack. This is where I was thinking if we could get flowers, we could play the second hand from the bottom, five, six, seven, seven. We really have one discard, the one crack. That's an edge tile. So I would let that go and the white dragon. We clearly don't need the white dragon at all. So that probably should be our first discard. Seven dots. We're going to pass. We really don't know what hand we're playing yet. We have too many weaknesses. Uh, the five nine bam nine needs nine. to be a pung. And then the nine Kong. dot needs to be a, a Kong. Swing. Okay, so let's we're going to do outside in. Let's let the one crack go. One character. So it looks like five, seven, nine is the predominant pattern for us. The Three four bam pair is joker bait. The One year tile character. here, this two dot, that needs to go next. Eight dots. So one crack is out, though. We might as well throw that first. One character. All right. So let's see. Five, seven, and dots. Or not five. Sorry. Five, seven, and bams. Then we have seven, nine, and dots. Here's five, seven, nine, and cracks. Win. We have win. all the sevens. Five, six, seven. Eight dot. Here's eight nine seven eight nine. Let's let the two go. Two dots. We have all the sevens. This could quickly turn two into dots. consecutive run. Five six seven eight of some kind. Four five six seven. If we get the seven dot. Three bamboo. We'll keep an eye no on the jackets. seven dot there. Okay, we definitely don't need the three dot. Three dots. This was a tough deal. Nine dots. Two characters. Let's see. Five, Nine six, dots. seven. There's another multiple the seven. We have pairs of all the sevens. I would let probably this four bam go now. Four bamboos. I would build around these sevens. Three dots. Six, seven, seven, eight. Red dragon. Let's see. We're just going to keep North. gathering. Kong. All right. Three bamboos. Flower. Mm, crazy bot. Okay, there's a five Four man. Bamboos. So here's five, seven. Nine bamboos. seven nine joker bait maybe One bamboo five Eight seven bamboos. probably the seven crack nine oh there's a nine bam okay let's focus on five seven nine eight dots that would be an edge tile here's Three five seven nine one bamboo five seven seven, seven nine seven crack Hmm, that's the first one out. I would wait. We're kind of in between. We don't need the green dragon. We've got green bands. Dragon. There's a five, seven, nine dragon hand. And with what we have, we'd Please need the win. white dragon. So that would be five, seven, eight, pair, pung, Kong dragon, pung, pair, red dragon. Oh, Joker exchange. Why? Thank dragon. you. All right, now the six can go. Okay. Six. So characters. I'm thinking five, seven, nine, and bams and cracks. And Eight then the seven characters. dot likely is not going to be seven useful characters. for Joker bait. Let's see here. Let's go ahead and pong. Pong. Okay, now. 
and we'll throw outside in. So we'll start with a nine dot since it's already out. Nine dots. We could pung the five One band, dot. con the seven band. We need to build up our nine. So that's our only Six weakness. Characters. That needs to be five a con. Okay, so nine bam is on the edge. Nine bamboos. Next, the three will nine go. Nine characters. We'll hold the five. Okay, now we're going to need a joker there. We do have a joker. So that's nice. Okay, there's a five crack. Nobody wanted it, so we can escalate it. This five is where damage. you have to have that agile thinking. Okay, here we can pung. Pung. The five was just discarded, so let's let that go. Five characters. Five characters. Now, the seven dot was discarded in the early game. Flower. It could still be a good tile for Joker bait. Three Maybe dots. somebody wasn't ready for it. We'll just Mom's have to wait and see. Nobody wanted the seven dot. Okay, so we have a year, a year hand over here, north and south with the year. Well done there. We don't need to look at the robot. They don't, they're, they're not smart. Here we have a two, four, six, eight hand with flowers. And then here we are playing five, seven, seven, nine. All right, let's go again. Uh, but we do not want the robot at our table, hopefully. Okay. I, oh, thank you. Thank you, Evelyn. We're doing our best. I need to um, step away for a quick second. I'll, I'll be right back. Sorry about that. Got back in time though. All right, so we're talking about planning discards, optimizing for Joker exchange, and also sabotage, trying to figure out what our opponents are playing and discarding their tiles before they're ready. That's sabotage. It's challenging, it's advanced. This is nitty gritty prime time, which is advanced, advanced strategies and tactics. All right, so our multiples are north and one, north and one. So we're going to hold the winds for just a little bit. We do have one, two, three, four, and the corresponding dragon. The eight can go for sure. Let's let the four dot go and the five crack. We're going to be planning around the one bam and the north. Those are the two targets. We got a one crack in an east, so we have a pair of wins. They're not ideal, though. Okay, so one, one. We really don't need the one. If anything, we would maybe play the concealed news hand, but it's pretty weak. I'm thinking the east should go. Now we have a, a pung of north. Let's see. We can we can pass these three. East six nine. Those can go. So we have one, two, three, four, corresponding dragon, pung of north, single east. If we can get a single west and a south, I would maybe focus on that hand. If we get a two in a different suit, which we just got, we might be able to try for now news concealed. So in this case, we're keeping wins. We definitely want to keep playing with the Charleston. So let's let the, the dragon go. It's going to be a little bit risky. Let's let the three, six go in three, six, nine, the only the dragon the dragons are opposite so this shouldn't be too risky it is a little risky but we need to focus on our hand first our hand comes first and then we do the best we can with what we have left over all right so the two four i think i would let one of these little tiles go with the big ones so let's say four seven nine 
We're playing noose concealed with one, two. One, two in different suits. We got the east back. Now that we have winds and we're gathering them anyway, we might as well keep it. Although we do have a pair here that we don't need. We might be able to get a joker out of it, but we don't have a whole lot of discards. So I'm not sure. We're kind of in between actually now. If we get a different five, we might be able to you do something with the six instead of the one. Let's see how many our opponent wants. They want three, so we can do three. Let's just hold the six crack and see what happens. If we can get a five or a seven in a different suit, we have that ability to go on either side, so it's a little more flexible. We got the five, bam, and a one. Now we have a pung, a pung of ones. But I would hold that five just for a little bit to see what happens. Two bamboos. Okay, so let's let the six bam go. Six bamboos. And the reason, that's a middle tile, but it was discarded. So one if a middle bamboos. tile gets discarded, you might as well let it go. Nobody wanted it. So we'll just Eight expedite characters. that. So you have to really watch what's being discarded for nine that outside bamboos. in theory. Okay, nine is on the edge. So we're going to let that go. Nine characters. Red dragon. So we're playing news concealed. We need one. We box. need consecutive pungs in different suits. Nine bamboos. At the moment, we have two options. We definitely don't need dragons. White dragon. We have a gap, no south, but we can use joker. South wind. There goes the south. Somebody else Two might characters. be playing winds, but there was no hesitation there. And we have Two our east-west singles, so we're okay. Seven is an edge tile, so we're going to let that go. Seven characters. The three is an edge tile, too. Six characters. So that'll probably go. We're going to pass. And nobody wanted that six, so it's likely not going to be South good joker win. bait. The second south is out. We're going to need a joker. East wind. We got a joker. Three characters. And, and I would define it as a south. Eight dots. Six dots. Okay, so one, two is what we're hoping for. Two dots, basically. Five characters. Okay, seven bam. Five bam. We're going to let the five go. Five bamboo. This is, if you're playing consecutive run, and, hmm. you, and you are thinking of e either side of seven your multiple, like in this case, the five bam versus the seven, letting go of that middle tile is probably better because... It's a Flower. middle tile, most likely to be used by other players. So that's why I kept the seven and Long let the bamboos. five go. And you can see somebody punged. So now Long we have the dots. opportunity to build the seven if the two dots Pung. don't come in. Three. Okay, dots. now they, they're going to want that seven bam. They're playing five, seven, nine. We don't want dragons. Red so this seven bam might get us a joker. I would, I would, oh shoot, now we're going to need another Eight joker. Dots. At least we can use jokers. Our souths are going down. Five dots. We have one tile. That's Six another characters. south for us. We have one tile. This is going to be risky. My Three hope characters. is that someone else is going to throw a seven bam and they're going to con Flower. with a joker. That's my hope. West but wind. we're going to ride a really tight edge because the longer we keep that seven, this seven dot, that's risky too. Both Six of these characters. are in the same situation because they're playing five, Three seven, dots. seven, nine. Second hand down on the right. Nine characters. Let's see if we can get a joker. One dot. Maybe. 
It's going to be risky, though, if we hold on to it for too long. Eight characters. Flower. We need two dots. We need another. Let's see. Nine bamboo. There's one more south. Thankfully, we have the east-west. Six dots. We can let that go. Five characters. Okay, we probably should let these sevens go. Six characters. I was kind of hoping that one of these other players Three would characters. let one go. Let's let the Two seven. Dots. Oh, that's our tile. <gasps> seven dot. We got the seven dot. Seven bamboo. Let's hope they're not ready to win. Mahjong. Darn it. Shoot. They got ready quick. They have a joker. That's nice. All right, 5779. Seven, I was hoping they weren't quite ready yet. Here we have like numbers with fours. They're one away from ready. These people are building hands very quickly. Here we have 135 Kongs in mixed suits. And then, of course, here we're doing news concealed, and we just picked up joker bait. But they were ready before. I really hoped they were. All right, let's play again. Okay, so we're waiting for people to join us. Okay, let's see if we have a good strong start here. Okay, challenge. We have uh, one, two, pair two. That's our multiple, but we do have a lot of seven eights as well. But this is a game of multiples. If you hold multiples, you're going to be better off. We might be able to do a wind hand with the twos. Let's see. I think the dragon can go. We have all the eights. We have seven, eight, seven, eight. Let's let an eight go with a west. We have no east. And I wouldn't pass two wins. So let's just see if seven, eight builds. If so, I'd break up the two. Seven, eight would be better because, well, we really do have we're 50 50 right now and here now is two three so we have two three so clearly we have a predominant pattern of two three four but i would not pass like numbers so i'd let the four go that would be an isolated tile All right, we're looking for maybe news with the year. White dragon, we got a white dragon. So that'll be helpful if we play the, the year concealed hand. So let's pass maybe the seven four with the one, although here's one, two, one, two. Let's pass the eight. We have a hand with no gaps, one, two, one, two. We're close to the year concealed hand. We just got another two and a one. Here's two and a one. All right, now we have to decide, do we want to keep going? I definitely think we should keep going. Now we have to decide what to pass. Let's see if our, okay, everyone wants to keep going. So we're in between one, two, one, two. Or a year hand concealed. Two, three, one, two, one, two. I think we should give up on the year hand and play one, two, one, two of some kind. All right, here we go. This was a tough one. Another tough one. Why are we getting such tough hands? Okay, we got a three, so we'll keep it. Here's a south four, seven can go. We have one, two, one, two, two, 
two, three, two, two. We got the four back again and an east. We're just going to keep paying it forward here. You know, we could maybe play the first year hand and use that pung of twos and the two, three, if we get that three crack back. I think we passed a three crack. There's a three bam and a five, but really we want one, two. The five is too far away. They want two. We do have one, two, three, but I don't think that's very helpful. We want, I think we're gonna pass two. Three and the five. We're building around our two dot. One, two, one, two, probably. We do have all the twos, so we might be able to switch to like numbers with twos or a year hand. Let's see if we get the three crack back. We might be able to play the first year hand. We got it. Okay, so we have one, two, two, three. Two, three. Maybe we'll keep the north for a little bit. If we can get news, we can maybe try to get news. We are going to focus on outside in. So eight is on the edge. We'll let that go. Eight dots. I'm thinking a year hand at the moment, the first year hand. And we're not ready to call anything. So we just need to gather. We're in gather mode. So we're just going to gather Sound every wind. one, two, three we can three until we characters. have to decide. We're not ready to call that, so we'll let it go. East wind. Here's a four. Whoa, well, there's a change. Six bamboo. We now have no gaps for a hand of least resistance. Three characters. One, two, three, four. And we would have to pung. And I would. We're going to call it. Pung. We're going to play one, two, three, four. Let's let our north go. North. Wind. And now we do outside in. Dragons and year tiles will go first. So four dots. if the two dot goes down, we can calm. And then we just need to build our one and four. So I would let the South twos go wind. next after this white dragon. White dragon. The flower. We have a three crack one pung. Dot. One character. One, two, five characters. The only way we could really use the flower is if Eight we do characters. one, two, three, three. I would let this flower go. East wind. So we have one, two, one, two. Nine dots. The one crack is already out, so that will be a good discard next. And it is on the edge nine characters so we'll let that go flower probably the one crack will go next one dot. and then maybe the nine bam, bam and then the twos and that would follow the outside in and nine ear tile bamboos. progression so this six bam is an inside tile we'll keep it let's discard the one crack one character so oh there's a six bam out it was thrown Seven it was probably characters. the first discard so maybe Pong. people weren't ready for it yet we might still be able to get a joker there green dragon another flower flower somebody wants flowers North so the wind. next discard will be the nine bam and then the one, one bam. Bamboo. Okay, now one bam just went down and there is a hesitation there. Somebody somebody has a one bam. Okay, that is an inside tile, so we'll keep it. Let's throw the nine bam. Nine bamboo. So the four, six, those are middle tiles. We're going to keep those just for a little bit. The six bam Four probably dots. probably will go first, but Nine not until we let these year tiles go. And that Eight one bam dots. nobody wants. Okay, that's our keeper. So let's let the two go now. 
We're playing one, two, three, four. Two characters. One, two, and dots, three, four, and cracks. There was a hesitation on that, too. So we need to escalate this two bam next. Six dots. Somebody could be playing a year hand Eight or maybe characters. evens. So we're going to let this Eight two dots. bam go next unless we get a wind, which we did. South wind. Wind goes first. Five dots. Four bamboos. Green dragon. Okay, so we'll let the two bam go. Two bamboos. Okay, now we are in the middle game. We're in the middle of the One middle bamboo. game right now. So we Eight do need characters. to start thinking about the end game. We need to focus on gathering two safe bamboos. discards because we're heading into the end game. So let's see. No three bams are out yet. Let's let that go. Three bamboos. And let's see, two, four. There are three, four dots out. That four, four crack bamboos. is a keeper. Um, two characters. Do you think someone's playing one, two, one, two, one, two? Five bamboos. Oh, East can go. East that wins. won't be possible. Let's see, hold on. One. They won't Seven be able to bamboo. play that because we have all the two dots. One, two. Kong. Okay, so like numbers with sevens, Red it looks dragon. like. We're going to let the, let's see, five dot, one is out. We're going into the end game in two picks. Two, four. These should all be safe discards. Five dots. These are all out. Four characters. Oh, that's our tile. Green dragon. We're going to need a joker now for the four crack. Oh, we needed a joker for the one dot too. Okay, so let's see. We have sevens here, like numbers with sevens. Well done. Over here, we have three, four, five, six of some kind. Look at these middle tiles. Over here, we have eight, nine edge tiles. Eight, nine, I think they maybe we're going to try to play a quint, I guess, but they have the wrong. They have eight, nine quint, maybe. I'm not sure. Okay, let's go again. We'll just stay put here. All right, new game. We need a nice, strong deal. You got to get the tiles to work with. If you don't have any multiples, you're going to have to fight hard for that hand because American Mahjong is a game of multiples. If you start out with a couple of multiples that work together, then you can be a front runner if you make the right decisions at the right time during the Charleston. So that's why the focus is so much on multiples. Let's jump, see if we can jump here. We got in. Onward and upward. Okay, we're looking for multiples. We do have them. Four, six, eight. Well, we have one multiple, really, but it's a big one. We have a pung of eights and two, four, six. So we're going to play an even hand. We've got discards, north, green, seven. So we're going to play a two, four, six, eight hand of some kind. Two, four, six, eight, the first hand is likely to crack. And flowers would be what we need. And flowers are not usually passed during the Charleston. We typically have to wait for those from the wall. And I don't, for some reason, I have a hard time getting them. Let's keep an eye out for the eight dot because we might be able to make the second hand work if we get eights. Let's see here. Two, four, six, eight in cracks. If we get a red dragon, we can maybe try for the concealed hand. We only need two flowers there. All right, now here's a nine crack. So let's pass west one and then maybe let's let the four bam go. Or actually it might even be better to throw the six because a one six, not useful at all. That's a really good pass right there. 
So we have eight BAM, two, four, six, eight, nine in cracks. We got a one crack, which is not at all helpful. So let's pass, let's pass south seven with a four. We do have some six, seven, eight, nine in there. Consecutive run is much more flexible. Six, seven, eight, nine. We have a three, four. Three, four. So here's a four and a three. Okay, so we have a seven, eight. We definitely want to keep going. I typically don't pass white dragons, especially with a you know with a dot. We have two, four, six, eight. We could play. I think the nine. Let's see, two, four, six, eight. Pung Kong. With a pung of eights, we really don't need the three. And passing a nine here would be risky. So I think we focus on two, four, six, eight, Pung Kong, second hand, third hand down, third hand down, and we just got a two. Maybe that flower can go. We have tiles we can pass. So two, four, six, eight, third hand down, one suit. Pung Kong, Pung Kong, and we are one away from set. We could Pung the two, we could Kong the eight. Now we got the eight, so now we're set. We have our eight, we can use this joker. No, 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 we're one away still from set. I would risk passing the white dragon because we're so close. We need one tile to get set. We need a four crack or a six crack. We got a three. <laughs> Bummer. Okay, that's all right. We can pay it forward. We need a four crack or a six. Okay, they want three. We can do three. And we'll throw away the flower, sadly. Okay, so let's let this go. You know what, though? Well, let's just wait and see. Because what I was just thinking, if we draw a flower, we could let the four crack go. Okay, so we have three discards. Let's go from the outside in. So the eight bam goes first. Eight bamboo. The seven will go next. Flower. Seven and three are both on the edge, really. But we're looking at two, four, six, eight, Pung Kong, Pung Kong, hand of least resistance. Two bamboos. We just need a one good pick to get set. Four crack Four or six bamboos. crack would be ideal for us. Seven characters. Really, this flower probably will Two be bamboos. should go. There, we really don't need the flower. Sometimes it's nice to hold on to Six a flower, bamboos. but in this case, we have a Kong of eights and nine characters, even tiles. So really, we we let's see. Let's see here. Things changed a little bit here. There's a five, two, three, four, five, six, eight. Let's let the three dot go first. Three dots. Okay, so now I think the, this five crack probably One can go. Dragon. We do have two, three, four there, but it's really weak. Five bamboo. All right, let's just see. We'll hold on to the flower for just a, a few minutes. Really. Six characters. Oh, that's our tile. I would pung. Pung. And now I let this flower go. Flower. We could pung the two. We just need help with our four. The four needs to be a Kong. So hopefully we'll draw. Six bamboos. Maybe we'll get our six back, our joker here. Six bamboos. Seven bamboos. We don't need an eight. Eight bamboos. And it's out. White dragon. So we have two discards at the moment. We need nine a bamboos. four crack because we need to Kong that. Nine bamboos. We got a joker. Five nice. Characters. All right, now we're set. We could Pung the two and Kong the four. Flower. 
So we are, we're looking good now. We're probably at this point, we're a front runner on this one. Two characters. Let's Pong. Whoa, I almost clicked Kong. Pong. Now, of course, everybody knows what we need. Three but my characters. guess is they're going to think we're not ready. And if somebody has four the four dots. crack, they're going to let it go because they're going to think we're not ready for it. But we are. Three bamboos. So, and we could win on a joker too, or six crack here. Red dragon. Mahjong. We got it. Woohoo! 2468, Hong Kong. Hand at least resistance. These build quickly. They are a quick build. Um, if you leverage the multiples, of course. All right, over here we have little uh, odd hand, the concealed hand. Oh no, they might be trying for the pair hand here. Thank you for the kudos. Here we have news concealed probably, or maybe the first hand, because they have the West paired up. They're probably gathering, but my guess is they're thinking maybe about the concealed hand. And then here we have five through nine, probably. Five through nine or six, seven, eight Kongs. All right, let's play again. Thank you for the support. Okay, we missed that. Let's play here. Okay, we need, we need players at the table. All right, so what do you guys think about planning discards? Do you guys use any strategy that I've not mentioned? If you do, let me know what kind of methodology you use. What tactics do you use with your discard planning? Oh, my bangs are freaking out here. I have a wayward bang over here. All right, we're looking for one more player. Come join us. Come on now. What are you doing over there? Lucky Jokers, come on over here to second, seven second auto. All right, here we go. Next game. We're looking for multiples. So we need a nice, strong deal. I'll take anything, though, because it's all learning. You know, every deal you have opportunities to learn. All right. We have one multiple, the white dragon. That's going to be interesting. We do have dots, which correspond. We also have 369, 369 in mixed suits with dragons. It's not looking good, though, for this particular year. We have no flowers, so I would not focus on 369. I'm thinking maybe little odds, little odds, or maybe consecutive. So I would hold the dots, and then I would break up 369, three, focus on the dragon. We do have two threes, so if we get twos, we might be able to switch to a year hand. We got a four, a seven, our number tile multiple here, seven dot. Okay, so we need to, let's see, we have four, six, eight, and an eight. We have a white dragon pair. We're reassessing completely here. So we have seven dot and a white dragon. That's, we're restarting completely. All right, so seven and a dot, seven and a dot, um, seven dot with a white dragon. Okay, let's see. Let's let the eight, one of the eights go, and then one of the fours with maybe the one dot. Maybe we ought to let a three go, actually. So we're not left with like numbers. Okay, so seven dot white dragon. We have a nine dot now. We'll keep it. Okay, east can go. All right, now here's year tiles again. 
your tiles. We just let a three go. All right, we'll see. So let's let the eight go with, uh, let's see, I think we should break up this four, five, six. Let's let the five bam go. Yeah, we'll let that go. Let's see if we can get year tiles. I think the year might be, mm, there's really only one hand though, darn. Seven, nine, no flowers. We got an eight. Okay, so let's keep the eight. There's seven, eight, nine, dragon. All right, we definitely want to keep going, please. Okay, now here's a three dot, three, four, really, three, four, but our seven dot there is strongest. Okay, we can't keep it all. Uh, let's pass one, let's see, one, six with a four. We still have some potential for a year hand. But seven, eight, nine looks pretty good to me. If we can get a six dot and a flower, that would be great. Okay, now here we have like numbers with fours. Here's a two. So now we have a year, year hand potential. Let's break up the fours and do one of each suit. Let's see here. I should have kept that. No, I probably should have kept the two and passed the three because we could have maybe done that first year hand. Oh, look, we got a flower. Well, that's nice. Thank you. Okay, now let's let the eight go with the four and the dragon. I don't think there's anything we can do here. Oh, wait, hold the phone, hold the phone, hold the phone. Let's let the three dot go. Cause we do have a year hand, uh, year with dragons, or we could do seven, eight dragon. Let's see, oh, we got the six, okay. We have a hand, the concealed one. They want three, we could do three. We'll do three, north one, green. We're going to chart for the concealed hand. It's a little bit risky because we need that eight dot paired up and then the flower. You got to have four pair in there. That should be a 35 point hand. We got a four dot. We really don't need a four dot. Okay, so outside in, one crap goes first. One All right, we have a pair we don't need with a three bam. That's going to be Joker bait. One We're playing bam. the concealed consecutive hand. We have two weaknesses. Norman. We need a flower and an eight dot. Three dots. Okay, six crack is a middle tile. Let's let the two bam go. Two bamboos. So we have two middle tiles, the four dot and the six. Four bamboos. Nobody wanted the four bam. West wind. One dot. Okay, we're looking for, oh, two bam already out. Okay, so two we're looking bamboos. for the eight dot and the flower. Those are the ideal picks One right dot. now. We're playing a concealed hand at the moment, so we need to draw well. Three you'll, dot. you'll always need to draw well, but even more so when two you play bamboos. concealed. Okay, now let's see. Let's let the six crack go. Six all characters. right, all right. We have threes. We have a three, four, three. three dots. No, we're going to pass. There's a slight hesitation on that three. One bamboo. Oh, there's already a three out. I would let it go. Six dots. And this one, too. We're going to pass. We're concealed at the moment. We got a keeper. Three dots. What we really want, though, in here is an eight dot and a flower. We can use this joker for the six. Seven or dots. Or the nine, I guess. That's our pair, so we're going to pass. Now, if we get a five dot, we could consider the fourth hand down. We're going to pass. Six characters. We want an eight dot and a flower. We got a one dot. We don't need that. Two are out. One dot. Eight dots. Uh-oh, that's our tile. 
So we're going to keep an eye on that. Eight bamboos. Four. I think bamboos. the third hand down is dwindling for us. Okay, we got a joker. Four dots. Maybe we can put that in there. Okay, now we're at a place where we can maybe discard. Oh, oh, that's our pair tile. We have got to get that other eight. Green dragon. Or we draw a flower to get ready. It's getting very tight for us right now. Six characters. We got a keeper. Three bamboos. With these jokers, we could switch to six, seven dragon if we have to. Three bamboos. Okay, so we we need one good pick out of that wall. We need a flower or an eight dot very badly. Five dots. Okay, we need a flower three or an characters. eight dot. Oh, nobody wanted the three. Three bamboos. Okay, let's see here. Two seven dots are out. Four bamboos. One bamboo. I'm thinking we switch to six, seven dragon if this Four goes down. Dots. Four dot is out. Four dots. The eight dot is going to be the kicker for us. Hopefully we'll draw it. Two dots. If not, we have a plan B. Third hand down with six and seven. Flower. Oh, that's what we want. We need that flower. Three characters. Five dot. Let's let the seven go. Seven characters. How many five dots are out? One. One five dot. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, five. White dragon. Seven. Oh, yeah, we'll pass. Eight. There's one, one more eight dot. Oh, now it's getting tight on the five. I was thinking we could switch dragon. to five through nine. We don't need the red. Red dragon. Really, it's the eight dot. That's the kicker here. That is the squeaky wheel. The squeaky wheel Five that needs bamboos. the grease. We need that eight dot from Two the wall. Dots. Or a flower. <laughs> South wind. Why do I always have such a hard time getting flowers? Can anyone tell me that? What is the deal? Really? Three characters. Oh my gosh. We're supposed Five to get a 1, uh, 1.6 flowers from the wall. We got our jokers. Where's Eight the flower? Bamboos. We need the flower. Darn it. Nine bamboos. There's a hesitation on that nine. Right now we Four have no dots. discards. The five dot will li likely go. Darn it. Really? The flower? Oh. Okay. Fine. <laughs> Okay, we need to draw Two the eight dot ideally, but a flower will do. Oh my goodness. Five bamboos. Otherwise we're gonna switch to six, seven dragon. And it's gonna be a stretch because there are two seven eight dots, dots out. There it is. There's the eight dot. We gotta pass. Okay, plan B. Um, Eight bamboos. I suppose we could have punged with it, but there, there are two seven dots. Either way, we're going to need jokers. Eight okay, bamboos. Okay, so we're going to we're going to hold the white dragons. Of course, we'll if a six dot goes down, we can call two characters. So we need another joker for the Five seven bamboos. Five south wind. <laughs> Hold on, one. One bamboo. Five, six, seven, eight. Use that for two characters. Five, six, dragon. Maybe. Two characters. Either way, we're still holding the same tiles. Six dots. Let's see. But here, I think I would rather. There's only one more five dot. I like your thinking, Smith. But there's only one more five dot. I think we should Kong oh. and let the eight dot go because there's only eight one dots. more five dot. That would really be risky. At least wow. here we can you we just need one more joker. Two way. Nine. There's only one more five dot. Let's see. 
nine characters. Seven bam, none are out. Seven bamboos. Yeah, that was a good a good oh. idea, a good eye on that, but it's it's tight because Seven of the five characters. dots. Two dots. Are we gonna get our 1.6 flowers from the wall? Five dots. Okay, seven. Okay, the nine dot. We need to let this go. This nine dot flowers. needs to go. Golly, what is going on with flowers? One, Nine bamboos. two, three, four flowers are out. Six bamboos. Okay, we're going to let this nine dot go. Pung. Oh my gosh. Seven characters. Eight characters. They're playing six, seven, eight, nine. Pung. Uh oh. They have com bamboos. a competitor, maybe. Five, seven, nine might have been an option a while ago. We only just two got the dots. five dot and two were out. Four characters. Mahjong. Oh. Four, five, six, seven. Hong Kong. Doesn't look like the nine dot would have brought any joker to us. So five, six, seven, eight. Handle least resistance there. Eight, nine, dragon. They had one discard there. They were one away over here. East and West with dragons. They needed a flower too. That was really painful. They needed to Kong. Oh, no, no. They have an extra East. Okay. Let's go again. We can jump right here. Hopefully. Okay. Oh, my goodness. That was a tough one. All right. Let's hope. Thank you, Sue. Hopefully, we'll get a nice, strong deal. We've had some really challenging deals. Get random tiles. You got to make them work. Okay. Again, no multiples at all. <laughs> oh, geez. Okay. We do have lots of cracks. Three, four, five, six consecutive run. I suppose we could do one, three, five, two. Let's see. Let's keep the dragon. We need to pass. Let's do two, seven, nine. Oh, the south. I really don't think we need the south. We need to let a nine go here, I think. All right, here we go. So predominant pattern, three, four, five, six. Or little odds. Okay, now we have a one crack. So little odds, maybe. Let's keep the five if we're going to play little odds. Let's see, we have one, three, five nine west seven green we'll do that so we have one three five dragon little odds one three five we, we're building around the one crack that's our target so little odds or one through five one, two, three, four, dragon, concealed again, maybe, if we get the two. We got a four and a seven. We have one, three, five, seven, nine, and one suit now. There's a four, though. That's another multiple. So I would build around one, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. I would let that five bam go, and then the nine crack. We have a pair in here now, the four crack. So we could play one through four concealed, but we have a pair gap. So that's going to be risky. I would hold the five because if we play the first uh, consecutive hand, we can use jokers for the missing two. We got a dragon. Thank you. All right. Now let's see here. Let's keep here. We have four, five, six, seven. We have two tiles to pass. Let's see, we have a gap, no two. We should keep going. Since we have our pair of fours, we have three, four, five, six, or four, five, six, seven. I think we should break up the one and focus on the four. Let the green dragon go and play the concealed hand. Or we could do three, four dragon or four, five dragon. We have a nine, we don't need that. I think the one is a safer pass. 
So our new target, the four crack. No keepers. I was thinking about one, three, five, but we built up a four crack pair, Sue, so I let it go. We were hold we were holding for one three five dragon, but we built a four crack pair. Okay, now we have a seven. Four, five, six, seven dragon. So the three can go. Really, we do have tiles we can pass. West one five. So there's our hand. Four, five, six, seven dragon. Let's wait. They want three. We can do three. It'd be really nice if we can get a five or a six because we need two pair in there. There we go. No keepers. All right. So we have four discards. So I would say that we are probably a contender. No win. And that's because we have a hand with no gaps, three multiples, but we're playing concealed. So we have to draw well. I guess I would hold on to the three for a little bit. Two bamboos just to see what comes in. We've got three discards, so I would Five start with the South. That will be the first discard. South win. Next would be the year tile, the two. It's already Five out. Dragon. So the two will go next, and then the one. I would say we're West a front win. runner now with that Joker. We still need to get West win. We, we need we need to get a five, six, West and a flower. Win. So right now we have three weaknesses. I think Sound we're probably win. a uh, contender. And a five crack is out. Three I just characters. noticed we missed the five crack. We're playing concealed, so we can't call. One character. All right. Let's let the two go. Two bamboos. The one bam will go next, because that's an edge tile. South wind. One bamboo. We don't we don't need that. Two bamboos. Joker. One bamboo. Okay, so now West Wind. Really, I think the three crack can go. At the moment, we just need singles. Two dots. Part of me is thinking maybe we should consider playing the third hand down instead One if we get more jokers because right now we're maxed out on jokers east wind four five six seven eight bamboos flower we need a flower and a five six in cracks we could maybe switch to the second hand down Pung kong Pong Kong, Pong Kong. Five bamboos. Riley's crying. Sorry about that. Daddy just got home. White dragon. That would be Riley. Six bamboos. Okay, we have two discards, three weaknesses, so this is going to be tough. Four bamboos. If a four crack goes down, let's see here. Hmm, five, five crack, bamboos. darn it, there's the second one. Oh my gosh, these pairs are just, 
really make, make these hands challenging the pairs. Our hand is about done. I think we might have to switch to six, seven dragon because there's only one more five crack. Seven bamboos. We've got to get that five crack. Six bamboos. But we can switch to six, seven dragon if we have to. Four bamboos. A two. We got five a two. Gods. So maybe we can do two, three, four, five one and let the dragon. seven go. We'd have to dedicate jokers four to the characters. five. Okay, we're going to pass. Two, three. Two bamboos. Oh, we don't need that. Green dragon. Mm, five crack, one Two left. Two gods. We've got our four with this joke. Oops, with the joker and the seven. We need that five. That's the Home. kicker here. Five crack. Green dragon. Four bam. Four bamboo. Oh, this hand. It really should be a 35 point hand. Four pair in Five there. Bamboos. Four pair in that hand. And it's the same Five hand bamboos. under under evens. East wind. Five dot. No. Five dot. No, we need a five crack. Oh my goodness. Seven bamboos. All right. We need that five crack. How many sixes North are wind. out? No six cracks are out. No seven cracks are out. Eight bamboos. Okay. We need to really be mindful here. Three dot. We don't need that. Three dots. Two, three. Two, three. Mm. Eight dots. Okay. How are we doing on the two? No two cracks. One, three crack. We should let this two, two crack go. Eight characters. Okay, we need that five crack. One bamboo. Green dragon. Okay, we're going to let this two go first. Two characters. There are two green dragons out. We're two One pigs character. away from the end game. So we need to start thinking about holding safe discards. That would be the green dragon North here. Wind. This three, nobody seemed to want. It was thrown in the early game, and so and Two only characters. one is out. We got a flower. Okay. Three characters. All right. It's looking a little better. We just need one good pick. That five crack would be ideal for us. Seven characters. Oh. We're going to pass. If we need to. Four we can use a joker. We're one away from ready. Red dragon. Uh-oh. White dragon. Oh, shoot. White dragon. Oh, my gosh. We need that five crack. One character. Oh, my goodness. We need that five crack. This is where the luck comes in. East wind. A six crack would be good, too, though, actually. Nine characters. Okay, we need a keeper here. Come on now. We need a keeper out of that wall. Four dot. No. Four dot. Are they playing a two, four, six, eight, Hong Kong? Ooh, that was a fresh child. Four characters. Nope, we're letting it go. Four dots. We need a keeper Seven out bamboos. of that wall. Come on. Oh, my gosh. Three bamboos. <laughs> this has been agonizing. Three bamboos. We're in the end game. Five dots. Okay. 
All right, our turn's coming up. We need a keeper. Five bamboo. We need a keeper here. North. All right, let's let the dragon go. Green dragon. Seems nobody wants the winds. Five characters. Oh no, that's it. All right, so now we switch. We switch to six seven dragon for a long shot. Nine characters. Because now. We let a seven crack go and a red dragon. Red dragon. All right, let's Kong. Kong. We'll let the five crack go. Five characters. Oh, we need to hold that, uh, Joe, or the north. Five dots. Okay, so now what we need are six cracks. Three bamboo. One seven crack is out, so we're gonna need a joker there. Six bamboos. South. Three are out. Nobody wanted the four. Four characters. Sadly. Doggone it. One dot. So this was a late game switch. Flower. Because our hand went down because of the stinking pair. The five crack. Four pair hand. Green dragon. Oh my gosh, that is agonizing. Eight crack. One is out. Okay, that'll go first. Eight characters. We're in the end game, so we need to think defense. We need to hold safe tiles. Eight characters. Well, as safe as possible. Let's see. Flower. I'm kind of thinking we should throw a wind because if somebody's playing news, how many Easts are out? Somebody could be playing news. Eight characters. Let's throw the south. South wind. Okay, so nobody's playing news. Flower. Because all four Souths are out. We'll pass. Oh, that's a safe discard. Seven bamboo. One dot, four crack. Nobody wanted the one dot. We, that two are out. Flower. Wow, no. Seven dot, none are out. One dot. That is going to be a very risky discard. Six bamboo. There are no seven dots out. One bamboo. Oy, four, five dot. Eight dots. East, three are out. Four characters. We only have two more picks. We have a three, six, nine hand. Oh man, three six nine concealed. Very nice. Two singles. They just needed two singles, and that's a thirty point hand. I'm on tilt. Okay, here's six seven eight nine. Pung Kong, one away. I'm glad we kept that seven. Here's uh, two four six eight of some kind. Okay, we're gonna play one more game. Oh my gosh, that was tough. Yikes. Okay, here we go. Last hand. That was a tough battle. Okay, last hand. Let's hope for a good, strong deal, please. Multiples now. Come on. We need multiples. This is a game of multiples, doggone it. Okay, we have one, two. One, two. Paired up. Okay, maybe we could do news concealed. Or one, two, three. Let's let the red, the seven, and the four go. All right, so we have... One, two, consecutive pair. If we get wins, we can try for the concealed hand and leverage those multiples. Let's see if we can get a two crack. We could maybe switch to one, two, one, two, which is a hand of least resistance. If you are ever on a learning streak and you need a win, play a hand of least resistance to help you get off tilt if you are in fact on tilt. I speak from experience. End high, hashtag, hashtag end, high note, hashtag high note. All right, we're waiting for, we're waiting for, wait. No, I promised I wouldn't do this, so I'm not gonna. What's going on here? Oh, there it is. All right. 
north, we got a keeper if we play the concealed hand. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. We have a one, two, three, four. Let's let the two bam go. We have one, two, dot, three, four, crack. But we also have one crack, two, dot, news. If we can get more wins. One, two, one, two, one, two. Handle least resistance. And we are going for it. So we're going to play one, two, one, two. We have three mul or two multiples, one strong, one one crack pung, one two one two. Oh shoot, maybe I should have kept that north, cause that that was the one two for the concealed hand. Darn it! All right, that's all right. What was I thinking? Now I don't remember. We definitely want to keep going. One, two, three, four. Oh, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, one, two. We have tiles we can pass. So we're still in between. I probably should have kept that north. But I was thinking, I'm not sure what I was thinking. One, two, one, two. Okay, so there's a three. Two, three, two, three, but we have a pung of ones. Okay, so one, two, three, four, one, two. I don't think we should pass the three dot. Let's let the four go. Oh, actually, what we could do is let a wind go and focus on one, two, three, four, or one, two, one, two. I let the north go. And there it is. Gosh darn it. <laughs> okay. So we have one, two, one, two. We can let the threes go here now. One, four, three. Okay, we have one, two, one, two, or news concealed. Let's see if we can get some wins back. We would need, we just gave up one tile, the west. If we can get an east or a west, we'll have made up for lost ground. We got the west, but a one. One, two, one, two. Okay, let's see how many our opponent wants. We can pass three. We've got one, two, one, two. We can pung and kong the one, two dot. We just need to build up our two, and we can use any number of jokers. So let's see how many our opponent wants. We could do one, two, and the concealed hand. They want three. Let's let go the concealed hand. We're going to let it go and focus on one, two, one, two. We need a two crack. We're ready to pung and kong the one the dots. Oh, we got a three. All right, outside in. Oh, we don't need the wins, but we might get a joker out of that. So let's start with the uh, red dragon. Red dragon. And then we'll do the nine dot next. Red dragon. Okay, so the nine dot is an edge tile. Outside in. One bamboo. So the nine dot will go first. North wind. Pass. Oh, we got a joker. Nice. Nine dots. Now tuck right in there. Two crack. Nine characters. So nobody wanted the north, so we'll let that go next. I guess we might as well Three put characters. that where it belongs. We'll pass. Might as well let that go next. Nobody wanted it. Green dragon. Oh, nine dot. Nobody wanted it. Nine dots. Really? 
Oh my goodness. Nine characters. <laughs> okay, so uh one two, one two, one two, Pong Kong. Pong. Oh, we need to let the North go. Flower. They threw away the North. They're playing East and West with a run, clearly. Oh my gosh, and now there's the South. Okay, let's let the North go. North wind. Nine dots. Four bamboos. We're going to let these winds go. Green dragon. One dot. We got to keep her. Wind. Oh, my goodness. All right. Nine we characters. have two discards now. We need a good pick for that two crack. West wind. Oh, they got it. Darn it. Six bamboo. I was just going to say there was a joker up for grabs. South wind. Okay. We need a keeper in here. South wind. All right, two discards. Two characters. Oh, that's our tile. Darn it. All right. Six dots. It's a year tile. North wind. Okay, let's see. We'll let the three crack go. Three characters. Four or five inside tiles, middle tiles. Five dots. See if anybody wants it. Take it with a joker. Darn. Okay, so we're going to escalate that now. Eight characters. Somebody did hesitate, but now we're going to sabotage. Joker. Uh-oh. Five dots. They can't be ready already. They have their east and west, and they're waiting on a pair. Eight characters. Already? Okay, Evelyn, thank you. Thank you so much for hanging out with us and for helping moderate chat. Five dots. Okay, so we need the two crack very badly. Three dots. We need a keeper in here. Come on now. We want to end on a high note. Nine crack or nine, nine bam goes. Nine bamboos. Nine bam out of here. Big hesitation there. Five characters. Okay, the there's a six dot out, so we'll let that go two next. Two bamboos. We need a keeper. We need a... A two crack. Mazar. Oh my gosh, they got a win. Darn it. Sometimes this makes me wonder if somebody was passing risky. Oh, east and west with a run. All right, here. S like numbers with sevens, probably. Over here, three, four, pair hand. Or like numbers with fours. And then here, two away from one, two, one, two. Darn it. Er, <laughs> we tried. All right. That's going to do it for this live stream. Thank you so much for hanging out. And if you're watching the repost, thank you so much for watching my videos. Thank you again, moderators, for helping monitor chat. And for everyone who signed up to be a channel member, thank you so much for helping support Mosh Life. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the little gray bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next video, may all your picks be keepers.